We're off and running with the feature bout. The Southern heavyweight title at stake. Jerry the King Lawler in the, while not totally foreign role, but in the unusual role of challenger against the Southern and the world champion Nick Bockwinkel. This bout is a no time notice qualification. Lawler just took one of those thundering rights from the 246 pound champion. Bockwinkel put him flat down. Nick Bockwinkel would not ex would not wrestle Lawler in this bout for a purse per se. Ah, oh, Bockwinkel really taking advantage of the no disqualification. He has opened up a lot. I'll tell you one thing. You can tell from the way Bockwinkel's starting. Lawler better get it in gear and get it in gear and quick, or they'll be calling him Baldy. Bockwinkel is really coming after him. He's got a sadistic smile on his face. He's nailed Lawler with about three right hands. He now goes for the eyes, and Lawler being roughed up by the champion. Bockwinkel, the only blemish in the mark in four matches with Lawler is a disqualification win from for Lawler, and that was occasioned by the fact that Hart jumped in the ring, caused the disqualification, and that was Lawler's only win. Jerry has never been able to beat Bockwinkel in the middle of the ring. This is the most important match he has ever had with a champion. But Bockwinkel is on top of him since the opening bell. Nick has been after him. <laughs> and Bockwinkle wearing out his own right hand as he is slamming Lawler around and telling the referee, don't try to interfere to the midsection. Oh, boy. That one sung all over the entire Mid-South Coliseum. Nick Bockwinkel, I guess the only word is abusing Lawler right now. He is really, from the opening bell, jumped him. Jerry should have had his mind set on opening very quick. Uh, not that he really had a chance, because Nick started out. Bing! And look at the referee pulling Bockwinkel back. Nick turned around. I believe he'd have slugged the referee if he'd have been close enough. Calhoun got out of the way. Lawler being worked over by a real pro in Nick Bockwinkel. Nick pouring it to him. Oh. Lawler's hair at stake. Bockwinkel, get this, brought his own clippers. And I said, we already have a set of them before we came to the ring. And Bockwinkel said, I don't want any of this stuff with the clippers don't work. I brought mine. I want to see his hair off. That's the reason he took the match. He made no bones about it. He said, I made enough money. I'll be working for Uncle Sam with a big purse. What I'm interested in is seeing Lawler with his hair cut off. Boy, Lawler, who is a slow starter normally, is just uh, picked the wrong night to have an ultra slow start. Bockwinkle just wearing him out in there, and the king closer every minute to losing that hair. Something that the Lawler fan said could never happen, and it almost happened right then. Bockwinkel looking at the referee like it was a slow count, count of one. And again, Lawler this time a little quicker. Bockwinkel knew that was not even close. 
there's a five-minute call, and I got to tell you, it's Bockwinkle five, Lawler zero in terms of minutes. He has shut him out, and just as I said that, look at Lawler. The king, we've said a million times, one of the smartest wrestlers around. He speared him. And Bockwinkle goes down. Pounding away with that right hand. The referee's telling him to open him up, and Lawler looks at him. What are you, crazy? He just beat my brains out with his fist, and you're telling me to open him up? This time, referee Jerry Calhoun grabs Lawler, and Lawler shoves him. Oh, boy, the referee already has had a hard night, and it's going to get worse. While it is a no disqualification, the referee must make an effort to try to retain some control of the match. He can't disqualify a man. Waller now. Payback time. Bockwinkle, a wild swinging right hand, and Lawler taunting him now. Be careful, Jerry. Be careful. Stuns him with three big lefts and then puts him down with a right. Lawler gloms him with that right hand again. Picks up Bockwinkle's towel and goes for the throat. The referee coming over, trying to pull him off of there. He has no intentions of breaking as it's a no disqualification match. Well, they're down into it. The street fighting tactics, and this is vintage Lawler coming forth right here. Bockwinkle being treated, ru treated rudely. And Lawler's loving every minute of it. He took his share of it. As we come up to the eight-minute mark, look for the pile driver. Bockwinkle's deck. This could be it. But Bockwinkle puts a leg up on the rope, and that's going to break it. I don't believe he could have ever kicked out of that, but he was too close to the ropes. Crowd loving it. After the pile driver, Lawler drops with the lower leg right on the back of Nick's neck. Count going on Bockwinkle. He's under the rope at eight. Lawler helps him up and takes a right for his trouble. I was saying that tongue-in-cheek, Jerry had a hold of his hair and was jerking him up off the mat. Bockwinkle coming back on Lawler. Lawler had an excellent burst of about three minutes, three and a half minutes, but uh, Bockwinkle now. Ah, oh, man, this is not the wrestling you have come to expect from the world champion, Nick Bockwinkle. He's right down there with it. Lawler bleeding. He's busted open his right eye. And he just kicked Lawler full force right in the face. There goes Lawler out of the ring onto the concrete floor. 
Good night. He lit all the way by the retaining ropes. Bockwinkle is 246, man. He is thick. And right here in front of us, Nick Bockwinkle slams Lawler on the timer's table. Jerry! Jerry! Remember, no disqualification. Jerry slammed down on the timer's table, and Bockwinkle trying to pull the table out from under him. Jerry, bleeding from that left eye, is slammed again, or the right eye. And Bockwinkle really taking delight in this. He came here to prove a point on Lawler. And except for three and a half minutes, he's done it. Crowd trying to bring Jerry along to help him get back. Lawler slammed into the chairs back into the front row. We're standing right over it. It's his right eyebrow that has been cut. And Bockwinkle again nails Lawler hard. Well, there's got to be some point. I don't know what the referee can do. He can't really do anything. And again, Lawler knocked back down. Jerry is going to need every miraculous bone in his body to make a comeback here. Bockwinkle pounding him in the midsection. Lawler just careening, stumbling down the concrete floor. goes Lawler over the top rope and again no disqualification Nick follows him out on the floor picks up a rope standard and as we said earlier he is taking advantage of everything he can in as much as it's a no disqualification he slammed Lawler's head down on that rope standard oh this is brutal. We're right at the 15 minute mark. 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Referee Jerry Calhoun trying to keep him in the ring. Bockwinkle slips through the ropes and a referee grabs him. And Bockwinkle getting mad at the referee. He grabs him by the waist and pulls him back as Lawler rolls into the ring. Jerry is a mess. Uh. We've seen Lawler have some bad moments. But this is as bad, I think, as I've ever seen Lawler pounded around. Bockwinkle dumped over. Oh, he slammed. Bockwinkle, 246, right into the referee. Jerry Calhoun laying on the mat, his arm draped over the rope. Lawler really. Oh, here comes Jimmy Hart from behind. Hart nails Lawler right in the back of the head. Calhoun. There's a bridge with a pin. Bockwinkle, count of one, two, and Lawler kicks out. Hart jumped in there while the referee was down. Lawler beat it, though. This is what they came to see. Waller puts Bockwinkle down. An incredible recuperative power of Lawler's. With Bockwinkle on the deck, Lawler going to spear him. He nailed him. 
him with that right hand. This could be it for Lawler. Nope. Oh, we may be a long way from being through. You better believe it. Look at that. Lawler jerked him up out of a crouch right off his feet and slammed his head down. And again sails in with that right. Mark Winkle just barely shook at that time. Calhoun, the referee, is still. He is beat up from where Lawler ran Bockwinkle. Let me tell you, this Bockwinkle is thick. Lawler again a third time. He got him this time. The winner regaining the Southern heavyweight title, Jerry Lawler. And the crowd responds as Lawler came back from almost certain defeat to defeat the Southern heavyweight champ Nick Bockwinkle in the first win that Lawler has had in five matches with Bockwinkle. And Mr. Bockwinkle's clippers will not be used on this occasion. And he's coming out of the ring. I don't know whether we can get him before he goes back. Jerry, can we get you just a second? I won't keep you long. Any comments? The first time you've been able to put Bockwinkle down, and you did it on sheer guts. All I can say, Lance, right now is it feels mighty good. Uh, I'm hurting, but it feels great. You got your hair. Congratulations, champ. I'm really tickled on it. Jerry Lawler, Lawler the winner and the new Southern heavyweight champion.